Assalamu alaikum. And um, inshallah, I'm just part of the video and my channel resumed to where I left off. And uh, I was uh, talking about when I told my co worker, you know. I know that you are not trying to convert me to Islam because this religion is the last religion I will look up to and the the I look is the last religion I, I will look into and it's the last religion I will convert to because I know what you people are doing to some level. You people are terrorists. Y'all are y'all are killing people without no mercy. No way. It's not gonna happen. And he he told me this is not fair. If you wanna judge Islam, don't judge Islam based on what Muslims do because we Muslims, we human beings. We make mistakes. We're not perfect. But if you want to judge Islam, judge Islam according to the Quran and our la uh, and the love of our prophet Muhammad. Salam. And, you know, and I told him, you know, you're right. You know, you cannot, you know, judge a book by its cover, you know. But you know you cannot judge the book by its cover. You're right. And he said, "Why don't you just take look? You know, take you know, you know, do research about Islam." And and I, you know, I told him, "Okay, I'm I'm an open-minded person. You know, I need to do more uh, more research about my own religion because <laughs> it's something that I cannot understand. So why I'm at it, you know." I don't mind, you know, take a look at, you know, Islam. So he bought me, you know, Quran, he bought me a, a bus, he bought me DVD, he bought me DVD, the Bay of Amedida, of, and, and Dr. Zakir, Zakir Knight, Dr. Zakir, and he bought me this, you know, uh, DVD, and I watched, and I did, it took me, I, I took a year doing research both on Islam and Christianity and I was compared, you know, the religions. I was compared, you know, comparing the both religions. And I finally come to realize that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a, is a prophet that Jesus prophesied in the Bible. When he said if I don't if I don't go, the spirit truth will not come. And when he comes he will tell you all things to come to come. And you know, I realized that this, you know, even in the Bible, they trying to make it seem like it's not him. But I come to my conclusion that he he is a person that Jesus spoke about because the message of the same. I'm not. I'm talking about Jesus and the message of the Prophet Muhammad are the same. I'm not talking about the message of Paul because Paul and Jesus got different message and, and, and message. But this is another you know you know argument. So I came to the conclusion and, you know, I said, you know, it seemed like this is the last revelation from God. And I converted to Islam. And when I converted to Islam, I, you know, I lost my job. And I was, you know, living when, um, I was living with my son's father. And obviously I couldn't live with him no more because that was forbidden. And you know, and I told her, you know, I'm a Muslim now, you know, I cannot, you know, stay here with you no more, you know, I had to, you know, leave. So, since I have, you know, no job, I called my auntie and I asked, I used to live with her and I called her, I said, you know, I converted to Islam right now, I lost my job, I don't have any job, but if I can come with my son to stay with you until I get a job and I get back on my feet. She said, yeah, sure, no problem. So I packed my stuff, I went to my auntie's house, knocked on the door, she opened the door as soon as she saw me with my hijab, I was not wearing the cab of course then, but when she saw me my, with my hijab on my, my full dress, she went like, you told me you became a Muslim, but I didn't know that you were, you know, serious, you got the scarf on everything, I said, yeah, you know, I'm a Muslim, you know, I'm taking it seriously, and then she said, okay, she invited me in, I came, and that same night, it was fudge. I got up and I went to, you know, to pray. And when I was praying, she was 
she got out, she was going to the bathroom, and she saw me praying. She, you know, she didn't say anything, and she let me in, so I finished praying. She said, oh, this is my house. I don't want you to pray here. I said, but, you know, you invited me, and you know that I'm a, you know, I'm a Muslim. You know, why can I cannot pray? She said, you cannot pray here. Of course, I didn't listen because my prayer is more important to me, you know. And the next fudge, of course, I got up and prayed anyway. <laughs> And now, uh, and then you know that when she said she saw that she called for family meeting. Oh my, my family came. My uncle actually is a priest, and uh, you know he came. He said, you know what is hap what's going on with you? Is that you have a problem? You got is there something wrong with you? Is there anything where we can help? Like what is going wrong with you? You know we heard that you you're a Muslim. Like why you left you know Christianity to become a Muslim? What is it? I said, you know, I just compared the two religions and I felt like this is the right religion. So I converted to Islam. They said, okay, let's keep the, sh the story show. We're here because your auntie don't want you to put in her house. So what we suggest is you come back to Christianity. Oh. We, will take, we will pay for your college. You will go to London. And we were we were take care we were look up we we are going to look after your son while you are London finish your school and when you finish you can come and you know and get him you know and that's it and I said the other option option is she said or oh, you can just you and your son leave the house you know and when they said when they said when they said that I couldn't believe it but at the same time I said to myself this is a test from God because God says in the Quran do you think that you, you're going to say that I'm a Muslim and we're not going to test you knowing that we test those who were before you and and I said to myself the people the Muslim at the time of the prophet they went to worse than what I'm going through is nothing compared to what I'm going through so I, I right away I knew that this was a test from Allah so I said I said to them if you're going to kick me out me and my son out because I said that I believe in one God then do what you gotta do because Islam, I'm not leaving. I'm not gonna leave this Islam. Tell it. You can do whatever you want, but I cannot. You know, I can't. I can't. I can't. And they say, okay, then I guess you miss a choice. You make your choice. Then you got to leave the house. And I said, no problem. So you know, I called the my coworker Usman, and then you know, I explained to what was going on. He said he's gonna talk to his mother. You know, and to see. If me and my son can come and sit, stay there for a while. I said, okay. He spoke to his mother. His mother said, of course, I can come and stay, you know, uh, with her. So that I went. I wanted to, you know, I went over there. I moved over there. Of course, they, everything was good. And and so, you know, my co-worker, you know, said, you know, I'm, I've been looking for a while for a year now. And, you know, if you would like to, you know, marry me. And... I said, okay, <laughs> you know, I said, why not, you know, and, you know, alhamdulillah that, you know, we got, we got married, and today we have four beautiful children, including my son, <laughs> you know, and I'm happy, and, you know, you know, and my message to the new Muslim is that, you know, be patient, you know, things happen, you know, when you convert to Islam, at first, things not going to be easy, because if the prophet they didn't have it easy. The Muslim they didn't have it easy. So say to yourself that it's not gonna be easy. And you know, Allah gonna try you and you know and put you to difficulty, but he's testing you, he's testing your iman. So, you know, hold on, strong to the robe of Allah. If you do it with light, I swear by Allah that you will not regret it because Allah will you know, will make things easy for you. So this is my story. You know, and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bye.